today I thought that I would have a little casual chat with you about something that I'm asked about quite often, and that is knitting needles. <laughs> so um, this isn't going to be a definitive guide or a how-to, it's just me chatting about my knitting needles, my my favorite brands, favorite interchangeable sets, um, and just all things, all things knitting needles. So I hope you guys are down for that. If you are uh, and you're new here, welcome to my little corner of the interwebs. I put out videos for your viewing pleasure every week, and if you haven't already, I highly encourage that you like and subscribe down below. And and yeah, so without further ado, gather around, grab a cup of something, and let's talk, let's talk knitting needles. Knitting needles, you, you would think is a very simple topic, but oh no, my friends, um, I'm staring at a little pile that I have set beside me. I have different topics. We, we're, we're gonna talk about um, everything, and I just honestly, I have no idea where to begin. I mean, all right, why not? Let, let's talk about how I store my knitting needles to begin with, because I feel like storage is such such a, an essential part of maintaining one's knitting tools, because if you're not careful, it can get a little crazy. My primary form of organization when it comes to knitting needles is is this handy little accordion binder right here and this is just uh, as I mentioned an accordion binder that I picked up from Amazon um, it's their Amazon basics brand and not sponsored but it's just a basic accordion folder full of all the knitting needle sizes and I've organized them <laughs> accordingly so I have them going all the way up from a US 1 all the way to a US 10.5 and I've also marked the millimeters as well millimeter sizes just you know in case I'm working from um, a pattern that uses the metrics versus the imperial system so it's a system that works for me and again when it comes to organization of knitting needles your mileage may vary depending if you are if you prefer to knit with straight needles or circular needles I mean you can certainly store I, w I don't see why you couldn't store straight needles in this it seems relatively long enough but um, I primarily work with circular knitting needles. When I first started using this, I noticed that <laughs> there are actually little uh, openings at the bottom, and here you can see like a knitting needle is popping out at the side. So the way I manage this mischief is <laughs> by um, tying up my needles in such a way, and you can, I, I honestly like storing my needles this way in general, even outside of the, the binder, just, you know, because it makes everything neat, um, and it makes it easy to hang up and find things. Anyway, um, yeah, I basically create a loop with the cord, take one knitting needle, one end of the needle, and stick it through the front of the loop, and then take the other needle and stick it through the back, and that just creates a nice little nice little um, loop-de-loo, if <laughs> whatever you want to call this, but I find it really helps prevent the, the cords from getting tangled. Um, so yeah, and that, you know, all of my needles in here are stored as such. So yeah, this is especially great if you have knitting needles with super long cords like this one. So yeah, that has been the method to my madness when it comes to organizing my circulars. Um, and I think I even have a pouch in here for uh, DPNs and such, but yeah, accordion binder, a really great way to organize your needles. It's nice, compact, it folds up, sits on a shelf really nicely. Um, I am a huge fan. I do I do have a knitting needle brand that I, you know, my Desert Island knitting needle brand, which I have to say is Haya Haya Sharps. I cannot wax more poetically about Haya Haya Sharps. I actually own two interchangeable knitting needle sets. Uh, one is the smaller size and the other is the larger size. Um, although I do probably get the most use out of the smaller size just because um, I don't usually knit with larger needle size. I'm not a chunky, I'm not a chunky knits type of gal. I, I can appreciate a chunky knit, but honestly, my, my small tiny lady hands, uh, and knitting with anything above a US size, I wanna say eight, my hands actually start to hurt after knitting on larger needles for a long period of time. Typically, I'm always knitting something below a US 8. Chiaogu's are my favorite because they have such a great pointy tip. They have such a great tip. Um, they're, they're pointy, but not too pointy. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, signature sharps, those err on the side of stabby, I would say. Um, I used to have a, a few pair of um, signature knitting needles, and oh my goodness, I cannot tell you how many times I've stabbed my hand with those. <laughs> Not, not to the point where there was blood, but um, yeah, it, it, it hurt quite a bit when you prick yourself with a signature sharp. Um, again, 
It all comes down to personal preference, but I do appreciate a good, nice, sharp tip. They just have a way of getting in under that stitch, especially when you're working with um, a smaller gauge. It makes the knitting motion more fluid. Um, so I really appreciate a good tip. Coming in at number two, I would have to say Chiaogu's are my, my runner up. If I can't get a hold of high, high sharps, I go directly to Chiaogu's because they're not as pointy as the high, high sharps, but they still have a definitive point that I can get behind. <laughs> They, they still work really well, and I mean, they look aesthetically pleasing as well. I mean, look at that beautiful red lace cord. I know many people really appreciate the cord on Xiaogu's. They're, they have a very, um, they're, they're firm. They're not floppy, uh, and they, they hold their shape very well. And to be honest, I am not a huge fan of the cord on this because it's, so, it's relatively stiff. It's not really stiff, but it, it's definitely less flexible and floppy compared to the Haya Hayas. So just to give you some reference, here's some Haya Hayas. They, Haya Hayas have a blue, a blue cord. And you know, it's a little more, it, it has a, t I will say it has a tendency to kink up on itself sometimes if you're not careful, but I do love the flexibility of it. I do notice at the join, the, the cord has a tendency to kink up right there, but honestly, it doesn't bother me. At the end of the day, I really just appreciate the flexibility of it. Whereas the Chiaogu's, I feel like it's it's so firm that it flops around too much. I just find it a little too cumbersome. Um, that's not, you know, you you may love it and that's completely fine, but you know, that's, that's my own personal brand of crazy. While I don't have an official Chiaogu, interchangeable set, I do have the, the shorty set. I have two sets of the, let me see, I showed these off on the podcast before and I absolutely love these. I have both the smaller size set and I have the larger size set. So I believe this one goes up to a US size four and this one goes up to a US, Ooh, goodness, let me see. Okay, I lied. So the larger set goes from a US size four to a US eight, and then the smaller sock knitting uh, kit goes um, from, let me see, a US zero all the way up to a US size three. So, um, and it comes, it actually comes with two lengths of knitting needles. So you get two of each size, but one size has a one inch length of needle size and the other has a, I believe, a, a two inch length in needle size. I really appreciate that because when you are um, knitting those really narrow tubes, uh, such as like a sock or, um, you know, decreasing for a wrist or a cuff on a, a sleeve, then, you know, you can easily switch swap in and out the different lengths of needles to accommodate the, the circumference of tube that you are knitting, if that makes any sense. Um, but I really love the packaging with this. Uh, again, like it comes with this neat little envelope and then it also comes with, it also comes with various cord lengths. It comes with a key to secure your join and then, you know, some bonus little stitch markers and such. Um, but yeah, just a really great package. Highly recommend these worth every penny in my opinion. I'm gonna take this off. Believe it or not, even though it's fall here and it's been pretty chilly, I'm I'm getting kind of toasty in here. So um, anyway, I think that's all I wanna say about Chiaogu's. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I know Chiaogu makes another line called Chiaogu Lace and I'm not sure what the difference is between, <laughs> to be honest, I'm, I'm not an expert guys, believe it or not. I know that Chiaogu Lace has a, a bend in the needle tip at the, at the join. If, but let me, do I even have one? Ah, ah, there it is. Ah, I found it. I do, I do have a Tiago lace. Here's that bend that I'm talking about. Um, it's it's a subtle bend, but I'm not sure why why it does that. I'm not sure if it has to do with the ergonomics or probably. I mean, I do like the fact when I'm holding these in my hands, I like the fact that the, um, that the bend kind of drapes over this part of my hand. If I had to guess, maybe it's an ergonomics thing. Who knows? But yeah, I'm just realizing that now and it never really dawned on me that maybe maybe that's what it was designed for. Um, and I am noticing that the, the tip on the Chiago laces are a bit shorter or the taper is a bit shorter compared to the other um, Chiago's. Yeah, interesting. Anyway, but again, that's the beauty of knitting needles. There's something out there for everyone. Yeah, um, so, Jiaogu's, I think that's all I wanna say about them. Honorable mention, when it comes to my favorite go-to knitting needles, um, I would I would have to give some kudos to Knitter's Pride Carbons. Um, <laughs> these, I, I have to say, when it comes to knitting socks, um, these were my go-to for quite a long time. Uh, and Carbons, if you're not familiar, they have like that carbon um, shaft right here and then a metal tip. And they look very aesthetically pleasing, 
But um, the reason why I fell off the wagon with these, <laughs> is, that, is that a term? I don't know. I stopped using them as much just because the join where the metal meets the carbon uh, portion of the needle, um, I would find my, my yarn would always get snagged at that point, depending how old the needles were. But um, that, that kind of got to me after a while. I still like knitting my socks with carbons. I find, you know, they have a nice texture, a nice grip to them. They're almost akin to wooden knitting needles where they, you know, again, they have that tactile feel um, compared to metal knitting needles and the cord I have to say you know the cords you know it's decent I it has it has that floppy factor that I like to it very very similar very similar to the high high sharps when it comes to you know again floppiness and kinkability <laughs> is that a word um, again it does have a tendency to kink at the join over here but yeah not not a deal breaker in my opinion um, but yeah I think the the part where the yarn has a tendency to snag at the metal to carbon join um, that's what kind of led me to look elsewhere when it comes to knitting needles. While carbons aren't my absolute favorite, I still like the feel of them. They have a really nice aesthetic. Um, yeah, it's just at certain points, the yarn tends to snag and yeah, I'm, <sighs> I like my I like my high high is better. Which brings me to budget knitting needles because I feel like um, there are some really great budget knitting needles out there. I know some of these interchangeable sets and knitting needles can you know be quite a pretty penny. Which is why I. I'm still a huge fan of Knit Picks knitting needles, um, and I'm sure many of you out there can agree. They've always had a really nice price point, and I have to say, when it comes to cords for circulars, theirs has to be my absolute favorite. I have never had an issue with Knit Picks cords. Um, they have the just the right amount of flexibility uh, and firmness. Uh, something that I wish that the high high has had. Um, plus, plus they're purple, they're purple. And this has been in my stash for quite some time uh, and it's held up throughout the years. They're just simple metal needles and a no drama join over here. It's very smooth, never had a snagging issue. I would say it has a very, very comparable point to the high high sharps. Um, the high, I mean, looking at it, the high high, I don't know. The high highs are definitely noticeably pointier, but I mean, at the end of the day, very, very comparable. Um, would highly recommend if you're looking for a low budget version of the high high sharps. I mean, I'm just realizing this now. Again, this is just a casual sit down conversation where I go through my knitting needles and chat about them. So, um, but that is a really interesting discovery that, you know, knit picks, knitting needles are very similar to the high high sharps. I mean, there you go. Um, so as far as other budget, if metal isn't your thing, I would definitely recommend Clover knitting needles. I mean, these are a standard. You can find them in any big box craft store, um, hobby store. These are everywhere and I absolutely love them. Um, it, again, it really depends on the yarn that you're using. Um, if you're using a very slippery weight yarn like silk, the, the wood, the bamboo on Clover needles is great for creating that extra, um, tactileness and friction uh, so your stitches don't go slipping and sliding off your needles as it would with metal. I personally love using these when, you know, I'm using with Superwash Merino. Um, it just gives it that extra grippiness, if that makes any sense. It, ha it has a little bit of tooth to it. These are definitely a good tried and true um, brand for me. And, you know, the cable, while it's not my favorite, um, it can be a little, it, it's plasticky and stiff. Um, I know some people have gone through uh, the trouble of actually, you know, slightly melting the the cable in some boiling water just to make it a little more pliable and malleable. Um, don't try that at home. You didn't hear it from me, but uh, I, I've heard people doing that uh, to help, you know, add a little bend to it. But honestly, I've had these in my stash for years, and I've noticed with a lot of use, the the cable just softens up and bends over time. Clover needles are just an awesome go-to budget-friendly knitting needle option if you are in the market for budget-friendly knitting needles. So yay. I guess when it comes to DPNs, I'm not much of a DPN user, but I do, I do appreciate a good DPN here and there. I do, I do have some DPNs in my stash and I'm terrible at organizing them. I mean, I keep them in a Ziploc bag uh, and I have this little pouch right here that I store some in. There's no rhyme or reason method to my madness when it comes to storing my DPNs, but I have them just in cases, you know, when I want to knit a hat or need to knit a sleeve of sorts and I, you know, but once my once those Chiagu shorties came into my life, I was just like, peace, peace out, DPNs. If I do have a go-to DPN, I do have to say 
car bonds are right up there. Um, again, the tactileness of them and the, the overall feel and aesthetic, let me see. So yeah, these are what they look like. They just look so pretty and aesthetically pleasing. Um, so yeah, knitting with these are great. And then when it comes to socks, I don't, I think I need to get a new set because I don't know what happened to, <laughs> I don't know what happened to them, but, um, the cubics, US 1.5 cubics are my favorite hands down for knitting socks on DPNs. The feel of like the, the square edges just rolling around in your fingers while knitting on socks. It just feels like I'm being productive. I can't describe it, but yeah, I, I've definitely got to get myself another set of those because I, I love them. They're, they're great. I almost completely forgot to show another interchangeable set that I also have. Um, and this one, I, I have a love hate relationship with it as I'm sure many of you out there do, but I at some point treated myself to a, a, an interchangeable needle set of Lucas. Um, and yeah, these are absolutely beautiful. I love the way they look. When it comes to taking photos of my works in progress, I, I do not shy away from <laughs> using, using these needles. They photograph well. Um, when it comes to knitting with them, I honestly, when they work, I love working with them. Again, they have that wooden tactileness to them. That word tactile, I, I cannot get enough of it. It's such a wonderful word and gets the point across so well. Um, anyway, uh, where I digress. I believe early on uh, this kit had a join issue. So some of the tips weren't screwing into the the cables. Um, and you know, this was a known issue and I did contact customer service and they were wonderful. They sent me replacements, no questions asked. So Luca does offer wonderful customer service. Um, but you know, again, when you're spending this much on, on a kit, it's like you expect it to just work straight out of the gate. Um, however, I believe, uh, it, again, it's been a while since these came out. I like to think, and from what I've heard, uh, there haven't been any other issues when it comes to joins. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, and you know, again, these have a very stiff cord. So while they're not my favorite when it comes to flexibility, um, they're definitely, you know, if you are a fan of Chiaogu needles, you will definitely appreciate this cord. If I'm not knitting with my high, high sharps and I just want that extra, um, you know, grip when it comes to knitting with a with a yarn that I'm working with, a particular type that might be just a little slipper, too slippery for metal, I will definitely reach for these. And again, the presentation is absolutely beautiful. I love the case. It comes with a little storage pouch in here with additional cable sizes. Um, yeah, I, you know, I do recommend these. Let's talk um, sock knitting needles for a while because I feel like that is a category unto their own, um, if that makes any sense. Because I do have quite, I feel like if I go through my needle stash, I have quite a few sock knitting needles. I mean, all the same size because one can never have too many socks on the go. Am I right? And all of them happen to be US size ones, which I believe is a 2.5 millimeter. I've got endless, endless quantities of that size in, in my stash. So, um, Again, when it comes to knitting socks, I always prefer my high highs, hands down. Again, the, the floppiness of the cable, be still my heart. Close second, uh, definitely knit picks. These are just a great go-to standard needle for, for sock knitting for me. Um, and just trying to manage more mischief over here, guys. Seriously. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. There you go. Looping knitting needles like this is such a gratifying process. I love it, I love it. And then, you know, because the cable is not my favorite, Chiaogu's I don't really reach for when it comes to knitting socks. Uh, just because of that cable, it's too stiff, too, not, not flexible enough for my liking. Although I will say, <laughs> when it comes to, uh, I know there are some of you out there who love, love knitting with nine inch cirques. Because if you're not a fan of magic looping or knitting with double pointed needles, you know, the this just creates the loop for you and you can just go around Around and around and around to your heart's content. Unfortunately, when it comes to any you know run of the mill nine inch circular, my hands, I, the way I hold my knitting needles, I I just can't do it. I can't do nine inch circs. It drives me up a wall. It drives me insane. Um, so I just stick to my tried and true magic loop method, um, which I, I I'd be more than happy to do a tutorial on this channel for you if you are in into learning how to do magic loop because honestly I think it's it, it's my favorite way to knit a pair of socks. Um, so I I can certainly show you how to do the magic loop technique if if that is something you're interested in. Let me know in the comments below. But I do keep this pair of Chiaogu nine inch circulars in my notions pouch, just 
just in case. Because even though I do bring projects with me on vacation, sometimes I don't bring a pair of socks with me. Um, and you know, if I am on vacation and I happen to pop into a yarn shop and see some sock yarn that I like and I just need something to switch things up, I always keep these in my notions pouch because of the length of the, the tip. Um, these I believe have a one and a half, let me see, these could be two inch. These nine inch circulars have a two inch needle tip, which gives me just, it's just enough to um, provide enough stability on my hand when I'm knitting. So if, if I have, if my pinky has nothing to rest on, then it's just kind of like flopping around and it has nowhere to go. And it's just really fiddly for me to knit a pair of socks on, on this size needle. And I believe I also have the stiffness of the core to thank to add, you know, that extra stability. Because if you look at this nine inch circular, which was the first nine inch circular that I ever purchased, um, the, the cord again has a little floppiness to it. And even though it's only, I want to say, Oh, like an eighth of an inch, maybe two eighths of an inch shorter than the Chiaogu knitting needle. Yeah, it's just not enough uh, for my, my pinky to rest on. So anyway, personal brand of crazy, your mileage will vary. Um, that's, that's just how I roll when it comes to nine inch circulars. Woo. And there you have it. I think we've covered pretty much everything when it comes to my, my knitting needles. Now it's your turn. I would absolutely love to hear what your favorite knitting needles are um, when it comes to brands, to sizes, tips, materials, you know, do you prefer metal? Do you prefer bamboo, wood? What's a bee in your bonnet when it comes to knitting needles? What don't you like? Um, I would love to continue this conversation down below. All right, my friends, thank you so much as always for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Uh, and until the next video, have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.